there, Claudia St. John with Affinity HR Group. We are your HR partner and resource. Are you thinking about recruiting this year? Do you think you're gonna be hiring some folks? I wanted to cover three tips for you to think about before you start that effort. The first is that it is a wickedly tight labor market out there. You know it, we know it, everybody knows it. You can't turn on the radio with our, or, the, or the TV or open a newspaper without seeing how tight the labor market is. What this means, essentially, is that in most geographies, Everybody who wants a job has a job. That means that if all you're doing is throwing out a, an ad on Indeed.com or CareerBuilder or LinkedIn, you're not going to get the talents that you want because the folks that you want already have jobs. Most of our efforts right now is not screening resumes and trying to convince, you know, find out why these talent, this talent thinks that they're right for the job. It's the opposite. We go and find them gainfully employed at some company and try to convince them of why our client opportunity is good for them and why they should consider the risk of leaving their current job to go and work for our clients. If you're not doing that, you really need to be doing it. It's really the only way we're gonna get it done. It doesn't mean that you can't do it on your own, but you need to realize that it's a sell game. You have to sell yourself to somebody who is currently employed. Um, now, that doesn't mean that it's, that it's impossible, but it does mean that the days of like stress interviews and tell me why you think you should bring something to this company, those days are over. They're over because everybody has options and everybody is gainfully employed. The second thing for you to consider is if you're going to go through a recruiting effort, you better be ready to move quickly. If the lead decider is going out on a European vacation, don't start the recruiting project. We have lost four or five candidates for every 10 in this labor market due to either competing offers that our clients didn't really want to participate in or because they waited too long and by the time they made a decision on that candidate that talent was long gone you need to be ready to move quickly and if you're not right now don't start your recruiting effort you be you have to be ready to respond within hours days maximum not weeks the third for you to consider is that compensation is on the rise we predicted this as a labor trend back in january and we're seeing it borne out in all of our recruiting efforts our clients are shocked by what the candidates are requiring for starting salaries, even fresh salaries, you know, fresh talent right out of the gate. We have folks who are applying for customer service and sales reps with three or four years of experience, and they want, you know, somewhere in the mid $65,000 range for those salaries. Obviously, those salaries are gonna vary across geography, but you need to be prepared to come in with a really competing offer. If you lowball an offer, you will lose that talent instantly, especially if they're already working. There's no reason for them to take that risk. So, pretty pretty hard out there. I um, hope that you, you know, know that you need to sell yourself, know that you need to move quickly, and know that you need to bring your best offer forward. Hope this is helpful. If there's any content you want us to cover, please let me know. And in the meantime, I hope you have a safe and productive work week.